I think, and look, I'm older than you, so let me, this is just friendly advice, don't take it in a patronizing way. Your whole spirit seems to be uh, to promote division. Okay, yeah. when we have a dialogue, as Christians, we should seek to find common ground, right? And I'm not denying, we know uh, the, the, the Trinity is the stumbling block, but I would say, uh, when I speak to a Muslim, the fact that they honor Jesus Christ as a prophet. Now, it's a big demotion, let's be honest. From We believe he's God, the Son, we can talk about that. Uh, but you recognize him as a prophet. Now, that means the moral order that Jesus Christ instituted, you as Muslims, you're very amenable to that because you honor him. That's good. I think the Jews are in a much more difficult position because they rejected him. And if you look at the behavior of Jews, since the crucifixion and right up to this day, that rejection is obvious in their behavior. It's a genocide. It's a genocide. I don't know. If, I think, you know, you did, in fairness, you, you did condemn it, Bob, and I appreciate that. And I admire you for that. But, but shouldn't we the say other, you the other Last thing, last oh, thing. Right. The other element of Jewish influence in the world. And by the way, when I say the Jews, I do not mean all Jews. I mean the Jewish leaders. He only calls them leaders, but leaders have followers. They're called the Jews. Gospel of John will attest to that. They engage in moral subversion. And if you're a Christian, you have a duty to fight moral subversion. And you will not do that by attacking Muslims. If you look at sodomy, gay marriage, transgenderism, abortion. abortion. Abor Did you know in, abortion, in America when Roe v. Wade was overturned, there weren't Muslims on the street saying, this is our fundamental value, it was the Jews. Can I reply? About, when, when uh, last point, let me finish that. The, the Jews, about 400 Jewish organizations were on the street with placards saying, access to abortion is a fundamental Jewish value. Now? That's the opposite of Christianity. Can I Sorry, reply? go for it, Bob. Right, so let's be clear. As a Christian, I condemn any Jew that is pro-abortion. However, what this ignorant doesn't know uh, hang on, is no. that Sharia Christian law, language. Sharia language. Insult. Sharia law, Insult. That's too Sharia much. law permits abortion. Will he now condemn Sharia law for permitting abortion? All right. No, I haven't uh, finished. Oh, sorry. Go on. I haven't finished. <laughs> okay. no. uh, hey, he said, brother, brother. He said. Ben, he Ben. Said, or what's his name? Do not. Now he said, Bob, ladies and gentlemen. Bob, you don't need to scream, Bob. That we should build alliances with Muslims in opposition to Jews. Let's be clear, scripture says this, do not be unevenly yoked with the unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with darkness? What accord has Christ with Bilal? Or what portion does a believer share? Good with point. An Let me respond to that. I haven't finished. <laughs> sorry. Islam permits Let me respond this time. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm talking too much. Sorry. Adultery. Islam permits secret marriages. He never criticizes Islam the Jews. Permits All Islam. Child marriage and sex with children. Does he condemn Islam for all of those things? Does he condemn I Islam? I think that's to me. Let me finish or, and I get out of it then. Or allowing abortion. I've already stated, I will condemn any rabbi who teaches those things. What about the Jews? So will he condemn Muhammad? for teaching those things. Now he said that I have an agenda of division. Yes. And I do. Even the way He's absolutely right. Oh. But I'm in good Why is he company screaming? because these are the words of his it's Lord like Jesus Christ. Christ. I came to cast fire on the earth and would that it be already kindled. I have a baptism to baptize you with. And how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Beautiful. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. Well done. So Jesus came to bring division because I need to respond to that. Sorry, Jimmy, because he's asking Those me. who stand with truth with those who stand with falsehood. Hello. And when he makes alliances with Muslims against Jews, he is unevenly okay, yoked so against oh, no. an unbeliever. And he has I can't not wait to condemned to this. Islamic right. teaching with the example. Let me that respond. I gave. Let me respond. Is that okay? You're done. That's good. By, uh, by the way, as a Christian, 
I forgive you. I'm not sure if you, it was warranted to call me ignorant, to be fair, but anyway, because I, but maybe I am. Anyway, uh, if we t let's start with his last point about Jesus Christ said, I have come to bring a sword, uh, uh, the sword. Now, fundamentally, that is not about creating division with your neighbors in your culture. It's about, essentially, what Christ did that was completely new is he separated the sinner from his sin. And that's what the sword of truth does. It says, I condemn the sin, but I never hate the sinner. I never hate the sinner. And I apply the sword, first of all, to myself. Now, if you want to kind of say, I'm going to apply that to kind of to have division in my country, England, which I love, I think that's a misinterpretation, to be honest. You know what I mean? Now, the problem uh, but it doesn't mean, country, anyway, look, Jamie, sorry. The problem, problem in this country. Wait, wait, while you're done, are you done? The problem right. in this okay, country, so, the problem in this Let country is Christianity. Christianity the is divided. This he guy said needs to look that Christ didn't come to cause division right, and, and, and against your neighbours. We are a divided people. He demonstrates people. that he We're, doesn't the know the scripture. Is He's arguing from a non-scriptural position. Here's what it says. For from now on, in one house, oh there will be five divided, three against two, yeah, it's a typical and two Protestant against three. Just fires Bible they will verses. be divided. Not Father against son, son against father, like mother against Civil daughter, War. Wow. and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against How her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, so we, we used the Muslims as a scapegoat. Well they used the Christ Muslims. Christ was not teaching about division against oh, your no, neighbour. He's saying that you would be divided in your own household, let alone against your neighbour. And so the reality is, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, he's coming out with platitudes, not biblical exegesis. He hasn't rooted his line of oh, argument in the words of Jesus. He has rooted it in, in the, the teachings of the Catholic Church. Uh, in the political platitude. The teachings of the Catholic of Church. Misguided bishops like the Pope. Oh, who said here we go. That all religions lead to God. So let me ask him. If this is the Pope's word. All religions lead to God. Trying to trigger like I can, I I can trigger it. I'm Oh, sorry. So here's my question to him. Does voodoo lead to God? Does you, you, Arianism lead to God? You, you misunderstood. Can I answer that one, Jamie? All right. I'm asking him. I'm asking him. I would love to answer. I want to answer. Sorry. Yes, I'm answering. No, no, I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. Are you running away from the debate? I'm here, brother. You running away from You don't need to shout. I'm right here. Right. Well, I'm here all day. Ten o'clock tonight. He stepped in. Sorry. No. You let him in, too. All right. Yeah, Jamie? Let's not push on you. Let's not push on you. Let's not push on you. Right. Let's not push now, on you. Now, if you touch... This is my pedestal. You all right, that's... So what's, what's your response? And the Why are you running away? Why are you hiding behind him? Brother, you're just not... Why are you hiding behind him? Why don't you talk to me? He's not hiding. He just stepped in. Why are you hiding behind him? Is that a Christian way to talk to a fellow Christian? Respond to the point that Is that how Christians talk to fellow Christians? These are Christians. The point that I'm making is the problem. Why are you going to I'm still here. One day soon, you're going to get yours. Christianity is the problem. No Christian would say Christianity is the problem. Oh yes, in this country as a nationalist. I don't think he meant right, it like that. Mocking liar. So what I'm saying is, the right, burning the flames of hell will wait you, and they'll come to you. Well said. Here, here. It's a warning. It's a warning to a servant, a demon-possessed servant. Jamie, let me in there, please. Sorry. What's coming? Why are you hiding behind him? This man is Let, Let Let I'm here, brother. Let's Islam is a dirty, filthy, Why disgusting, satanic, Why are you satanic, Why are you satanic religion. The prophet of Islam is a dirty, filthy, disgusting, satanic religion. The prophet of Islam is a dirty, filthy, disgusting, satanic religion.
However, the Quran is a Let me let me answer. Let me answer. Uh, uh, answer the argument that I made. Will answer my dirty question. Wow, well, the Christians are giving themselves a bad name over here, man. I want to talk to him. This man has shown his policy. Tell them we want to hear Sean. Sean, say I'm Sean. I'm here. Bob, I'm here. I'm here. So, did you hear my response? Do you remember my response? Do you want me to Bear with me. Just first thing. Will you respond to what I said? Can I speak, please? Will you, no, will you respond to what Can I, I said? Speak? I invited you. Do you remember Hang my on. points? You're not behaving like a Christian. No, yeah, are you. Not. Can I? Let me Carry speak. On. Now, the first thing to say is. Do you mind moving over a little bit, please? Can I? Yeah. No, I'm still here. Don't, don't push. Don't push. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Move your camera. It's your camera. I'm not going to stop you. Boys, boys, boys. Oh, oh, oh. Don't push. What's that? Don't push. Don't push. Whoa, uh, don't push. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bob, hang on, Bob, hang on. Bob, hang on. Don't push. Hang on. Bob, hang on. Hang on. All right. Let me let me speak now. Let me speak. Let me speak. Okay. Hold on. I push you. I move back a little bit. Let's get a bit of space here. Right now. First of all. Do you want to debate me over there? Well, let's continue here now. I think we're all right. The first thing is, Bob. I love you brother, as a brother and a fellow Christian, but the whole way you're speaking and debating is not, a, is not very edifying for Christians. You're shouting, you're kind of accusatory, you called me ignorant. Maybe I am, but as a Christian, we don't Let talk like you, that way. Let me ask you, did you know on. Islam teaches abortion? Can I just finish my point? Answer that question. Was I right to call you ignorant? Did you know that Islam teaches abortion? And I want to, uh, let me talk about abortion. Answer that question. Let me talk. No, no, no. Yes, I know. I'm a pro-lifer. I... Did you know yeah. that Islam permits yeah. abortion? Let me, I'll answer. Oh, you're now. on our camera. I'm, oh, your sorry. right there. Right. I'm not no, touching your camera. camera. No, but you're trying um, to take over. We want to get on there. Move back a little. Let, let's get yeah, Jamie's camera. Just move over a little bit. standing right here. Oh, what? You want to stay Brother, right? just behave like a Christian and show some yeah, decency. Look, brother. All right, now. Brother. Can I answer the question about abortion? You know, you want you to answer my earlier argument. Shall I recap it very well, briefly? Abortion? Abortion? I know your argument. I'll recap my argument very briefly. I'll take no, a minute you, or two. You've been talking for so long and I haven't had a chance for a No, that minutes. was his fault, not mine. Well, no, that was his fault. And the other thing is, no, 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 hang on. That was his fault, not mine. Boys, boys. That was his fault, not mine. Boys, boys. Fault, not mine. Can we make this more fruitful by talking properly? Do you want to go properly? over there and debate? Let's just stick with the people here. Right, yeah, so, and so. so right. Yeah, I'm on. gonna recap no, no, my argument on. very quickly. He doesn't want to let me talk. He no. doesn't want to let me talk. I'm recapping very quickly. It'll take me a minute. You've had about ten minutes. Can I? That's get his it? fault, not mine. Uh, but, and, and, I wanted you to reply. You allowed him and, and to interrupt. I knew interrupt. in a very unchristian way you were accusing me of cowardice. You are a coward. Running away. Oh. You I'm are a coward. A coward. Well, I'm you here. You are a coward. You think that's I a actually accused you of ignorance. Is that is that a Christian way? I accused you of ignorance. Well, did Jesus call the Pharisees whitewashed tombs? Yeah, Did why, he call them foxes and vipers? Why are you calling me a coward? You are you are a coward because you are willing to betray persecuted Christians. Why don't you try and build in this country and abroad because you, you want to build an alliance against Jews in this country with Muslims? Well, you, there's a whole lot of stuff you're accusing me of. So Not let me Jews, right. let Zionists, me respond. Zionists. Let me respond. First of all. As, as a Christian, we should always give each other the benefit of the doubt. So accusing me of cowardice and ignorance, I just don't think that's very edifying. But leave that aside. I forgive you for that. Uh, we were on we were on abortion. No. I, well, can I deal with that? Because, I mean, that was a big issue that came no, up. No, no. That was not why, the point why that Why are made. you not allowed me to speak? Do you want to do it timed? No. No, let's just have He interrupted hang on. me. He's keep on your volume, side. Keep no, your no, volume down. No, 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 you, no you if he's shouting right Muslims, now. Muslims, I'm it's sorry. Like you talking to him. It's a it's bad like advertisement you for Christianity. Why aren't you talking to it's him? Like you Why don't you talk about We're doing it again. We're not behaving very Christian boys. I'm offering boys. you a time debate. 
Let's just have a conversation. Can you bring the volume down from 11 to about 4? I'm if on 4. If you stop shouting at me, yes, let's I can do let's that. All do you that. started let's to shout. shout. You did. I, I think, yeah, I I think you raised the volume, but never mind. For, forgive and forget. Let's move on. I actually pray outside abortion centers all the time, twice a week in Brixton. Because abortion is absolutely wrong. That's an innocent person. Now, I recognize that Islam has certain exceptions. I disagree with that. But again, let's begin with common ground. I think the fact that you Christians believe, we all believe in the same God, you believe you're going to be judged, that he's the creator. I think that's how we start a dialogue. And then when we get time and we understand each other, then I will present my position on abortion, why it's always wrong. And then you can decide, well, maybe I'll reconsider the Muslim position. But that's how we, as Christians, we do that. I think it's more difficult with Jews, although I will talk to Jews. I love Jews. God, Jesus Christ, commanded us to love even our enemies. So I love the Jews. And when you love someone, you will, it's our duty. We admonish them, we call out their sins. If that's a genocide in Gaza, I will say it's wrong. Not because I hate the Jews, it's because I love them. And the other thing, but to finish on the, on the point, if you look at the position of Muslims and Jews, Jews are much more pro-abortion than Muslims. And I think, Bob, all I'm saying is whenever you address a Muslim issue, I would say choose the corresponding Jewish position, present that, condemn both, and then I think you will come across as a much more reasonable so guy. Yes, now. Go for yes, it. Right, so let's be clear. Let's be clear. And keep the he voice down. He wants me... You know, no, you don't get to choose right, that. Right. He wants me... He, this is how entrenched anti-Semitism into his worldview is. Oh, I said I love but the Jews. Wants, and now you're interrupting. <laughs> is that he wants me... To always, whenever I criticize Islam, criticize the Jews. To be fair, yeah. When I am debating Jews, I will criticize rabbinic Judaism. But this park is full of Muslims. And so who do I end up debating most? Muslims. Fair so enough. what am I going to condemn when I'm debating Muslims? Well... Islam. Right. Let but me respond ladies to that. and gentlemen, Let me respond to I am that. finished. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I made a biblical point, two points. Firstly, Christ does teach division. He didn't respond to that. Christ said that he will divide you in your own house, in your own living room. How does that correspond to his liberal political point? Let me point? explain, let me explain. I haven't explain. finished. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry. How, oh, does, how does that correspond to his liberal political point about building Muslim alliances against Jews? Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, not even liberal, nationalist. Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, I pointed out in scripture that it says, do not be unevenly yoked with the unbeliever. And that is exactly what he is doing. Because he is unevenly yoked with the Muslims, he will not condemn Sharia law. He has been challenged. Does he say that Muhammad is accursed because Muhammad taught another gospel apart from the apostles? Does he condemn the apostasy law in Sharia law? Does he condemn abortion? All that he can yes. bring himself to do is go, well, we can have a conversation about that, but let's focus on the Jews. Well, hang ladies on, okay. and gentlemen. Can I respond? Good man. Ladies and well gentlemen, done. I'll ask him a simple question. I want to hear the response. In hang, Galatians, hang on, hang on. the apostle teaches that anyone who teaches a contrary gospel to that taught that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again is accursed. Right. Does he believe that Muhammad is accursed for denying the crucifixion of Jesus Christ? Brother, thank Answer you for that. that. Thank you for that. What you misunderstand is how you deal with people who have different beliefs. You think it's to kind of rant at them and to, uh, like you did to me, call me, call them ignorant, call me cowardly. The Christian way is to say, yes, there are differences. Here is the Christian position. See what you think of it. You're a rational creature. All Muslims, Jews, God made us all rational creatures. We are created to love the truth and to find the truth. Now, I think you mischaracterized me on abortion. Uh, I, I, 
the difference between your activism on abortion and mine is you go to the pro-life rally March for Life and you trade slogans with the feminists. Uh, with the pro and well most of them Bob they're wounded women that have had abortions they're guilty they're angry and when when someone like me and you they're say abortion you. is wrong we we they get angry and because they think well when someone condemns your sin you feel angry but the christian response is not to start calling them uh, bad names but we when i've been at the march for life probably a lot longer than you we go up there and we try and speak to them individually and i for many years, I've been going to abortion centres yeah, all over London, mainly in Brixton and Clapham and Streatham, where I live. And I will, the women going in there and the husbands, I will say, look, we can help you with the Good Council Network charity. Now, I think that I think that's a much better position to have. To can be I honest, respond? You know. Sure, go for right. it. So, ladies and gentlemen, did you hear an answer to my question? No. Did you hear an answer? whether he is willing to say Muhammad is accursed because Muhammad denies the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. No, you didn't. Well, let me explain. Good no, man. no, I'll finish before you replied. I let you finish. <coughs> go for it. No, go for now, it. ladies and gentlemen, go for it. this is the problem when your beliefs are more rooted in some kind of politics than they are in Scripture. No, it's the catechism. Because he is not willing to condemn Muhammad as accursed as the apostles condemn all who teach another gospel, all who teach another means of salvation that is not wrought by Christ's death and resurrection. He's not willing to condemn it. But let's be clear Let where his that. politics is leading him. He is not willing to stand up against the fact that in this country there are Christians who have left Islam and have been forced out of their homes and towns because of the harassment of Christophobic mobs. I know many of them, driven from their family homes, driven from their towns, even some of them have had murder attempts on their life. Why? Because of Christophobia in the middle of the Muslim community that is unchallenged, unchallenged by the liberal state, and unchallenged by Christian sops like the, this, the, and now who give grounds, Whoa. ladies and gentlemen, right. Let me to respond. the very Islamists who are killing tens of thousands of our brothers and sisters in Nigeria, who attempted to wipe out the population of Iraq, who persecute Christians in Malaysia and Indonesia. But, ladies and gentlemen, how vocal is he in saying that the Jewish Zionists are to blame for wokeism? And that therefore we should go after the Jewish uh, Zionists because they are supporting wokeism. So why won't he condemn Muslims who support Sharia law, which leads directly to the persecution of Christians? Here's his chance to do that. One, say Muhammad is accursed. Two, condemn I mean. Muslims who support He's the implementation he says, of me. Sharia law against Christians. Sounds Go like on, Calvin Robinson, brother. Didn't he? Brother, can He's I say like this? I'm a, right. Can I? Can I say I'm a Catholic? Now, Bob is what I would call a typical Protestant. I'm a typical he, Protestant. Good man. Yeah. I love you too. Uh, not like that. He um, he will take the bite now. We all know Shakespeare, he said, the devil can cite scripture for his own purposes. What you do is a typical Protestant, he'll take a line of the Bible and say, well, you condemn uh, this person or that person. That is not the Christian way. Uh, he doesn't know the Catholic Catechism, which is the teachings of the church, who recognize that Muslims are the children of God and the people of God. And I want to work on that basis. And he won't quote which is, Leviticus chapter 18. And, um, and as I say, whenever he talks, he says he's fair-minded. But you say I only because my mainly my audience is Muslim. I will only talk about Islam. That's not how it goes. When we speak the truth, we have to speak the whole truth. And yes, we have a duty. It's not a it's not a privilege. It's a duty to call out problems in Islam. I condemn Islamic persecution of Christians. You know, I, there was that lady in uh, Pakistan. Um, that was her name. Anyway, that's wrong. But we need to be fair when, when we spread the problems. And the, the biggest problem in the world at the moment is a genocide in Gaza. Yes. 
I've never yes, heard Bob condemn that. And moral there subversion here in the West. And if you look at who promotes moral subversion, it is not the Muslims. Not the, by the way, let me. did you all know, here's an interesting, did you all know that the owner of Pornhub, the biggest porn site on the, uh, on the internet, is owned by a trained rabbi, Solomon Friedman? Did anyone know that? Can I reply? Go for it. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Do I condemn Pornhub? Yes. Do I want it to be banned? Yes. Does that require me to put all Jews in the same basket? Not all Jews, no. And say that the Jews, Jews. the Jews are responsible? No, ladies and gentlemen. Nor do I put all Muslims in the same basket Good and man. condemn all Muslims. God bless you. But I condemn Sharia law. I condemn that revelation that came from Muhammad that is degenerate, backward and savage. You're on the Muslims again. That allows for child marriage. How about the that Jews? That allows for abortion. You can't do it. That allows for secret marriages. Did he come over that allows for so adulterous did marriages. He come to that allows to get to become for divorce. He cannot but use the word. He wants me to condemn degeneracy where it, where where a rabbi is responsible. I condemn the rabbi, I condemn the degeneracy. Now let him do the same with Muhammad. Good man, let me respond. Who committed let me abortion, respond. divorce, let me respond. adulterous marriages, yeah. secret marriages, the persecution of Christians. Good man. Will he do it, let me respond. ladies and gentlemen? Good man. Because this man is driven by anti Semitism. Whoa, again, you're out again, Bob. He mentioned Bob. that Muslims are the children of God. Brother, you're in the same way the atheists are the children of God. Should I right, now right, ally right. with atheists Let me respond. in pushing an atheist agenda? No. All right. Thank you. Good man. Now, all right. You know what? I was going to mention a uh, coward, ignorant, sop, anti-Semite. You're kind of going through the whole list of names. I just say that is not a good spirit. But and and I think he made an important distinction there, which is is important. If you can. You can condemn Sharia law, good man, but Do don't, you? hang on, don't, con this is what the sword means, you separate the sin from the sinner. Do you condemn love, Sharia law? Now, I want to talk about your, your response to Pornhub, because he Who's always does this. Do you condemn Sharia he law? He always does this. Now, when Israel, the Jews in Israel, they, when they invaded Ramallah in 2002, did you know they took over the TV stations and guess what they broadcast? Pornography. Pornography. Now, what does that tell us about pornography? Pornography is a weapon to demoralize. Now, Thomas Aquinas, Thomas Aquinas, the greatest uh, Catholic theologian from the Middle Ages, he said, lust makes you blind. Right? Now, why would the Jews want to pump porn into Palestine? I think we know. Because a blind enemy is weak. And I think... Yes, you can condemn you can condemn the rabbi Solomon Friedman, but I I think you have to be more courageous and say the Jews deploy pornography as a weapon, and that's what should be condemned. It's not just one rabbi; it's the Jewish leaders and those who follow their lead. Can I reply? And that's the distinction you need to make. Right. And when you're there, I think you'll be very can I close. Reply? Yes, sir. Right? Did any of you hear him condemn Sharia law? No. That is what it means to be unevenly yoked with the unbeliever. He is so unevenly yoked with the unbeliever <laughs> is that he is throwing Christians under the bus. Christians. Christians who are being persecuted across the Islamic world, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, he tried to say that the biggest problem in the world is what's happening in Gaza. And there is no doubt there is a that genocide. what is happening in Gaza is an injustice. Oh, Thank you. it's an but, injustice. Ladies it's and it's gentlemen, the injustice is one committed by Hamas. There we go. Who hides behind women and children whilst trying to destroy the state of Israel. Oh, Everything that is happening in Gaza Let me respond. right Let me respond. now is the fault of Hamas. But well where, ladies and gentlemen, was he, when months ago, I was speaking about the genocide of Christians in Artsakh, 
Where was he years ago when I was speaking about the genocide of Christians in North Nigeria? Did any of you hear him come out and condemn the Islamists who were killing Christians Can and driving them from their homes by the tens of thousands? No, you did not. Well, why? Why? Because he is unevenly yoked with the unbeliever mm, mm, mm. and so he chucks Christians under the bus across the world because his hatred for the Jews Whoa. means he's willing to give Sharia law a song. Can I respond now? Can I respond? And he won't condemn Sharia law. Here's his second chance. <laughs> Will he condemn? Third chance, thank you, brother. <laughs> Will he condemn Sharia law yeah. for its persecution of Christians and for the degenerate, savage, backward teaching that is instituted in Sharia law, such as you can have sex with prepubescent children? It's the most you can have multiple yeah. Thanks for the drink, I love yeah, you. Really you can divorce your wife, you can have secret marriages. You can no, abort no, your no. children. Right, you've you done the list already. What about the abortion genocide that Islam is an apologist for? Will he condemn that? Okay, okay. Well, well, no. Um, okay, where were we? He, he said so much, my uh, Bob. You're kind of you're, 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 you're a spirit. That's the question. Start with that. Yeah. You're a spirit. Condemn with Sharia law. Start with Sharia law. Your spirit is all about condemnation, and. I think he condemned himself. Let me explain. It was I forget all the places you mentioned, but it's a genocide uh, in Nigeria. It's a genocide in. But it's not a genocide. Well, hang on, in Gaza. No, no, let me. But what's it in Gaza? It's an injustice. Wow. Is it a genocide in Gaza? Answer my question and then I'll answer yours. Uh, it's, it's, answer the question. Do you condemn Sharia law? No, I think you can do it. There. The, the point, no, the, the fact of the matter is, he, what he's showing over and over again is this kind of, I would say, an obsession with Islam, with whom we should be trying to live as neighbors, and, uh, and he's going to call a genocide an injustice. I think that shows how, I don't know, you, you just seem to be incapable of criticizing the Jews when they commit this completely evil act. I mean, it's just, I, I think that reveals Can I reply? Your, your real identity. You're Can a Zionist, reply? obviously. Can I reply? Go for it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. just to demonstrate, notice he hasn't taken up the opportunity to condemn Sharia law three times in a row. This kind of politics is dangerous to Christians, and this is why Christians should oppose Christians like this. And I do believe he's a Christian. Okay, okay. I'm a Catholic, but I believe for sure. that he is a misguided Christian yes, yes. because this kind of Christian Mary. will give space Definitely. to Islamists who desire to impose Sharia law upon Christians. Now, that Sharia law will relegate Christians to second class citizens in which we do not have equal rights with Muslims, in which our churches, our homes and our families could become the victims of a caliphate if we can't pay a discriminatory tax well, you know, called you're right. the jizya you're right. tax. Let me explain. But, ladies and gentlemen, Let me respond. his politics is not rooted in the Bible. Why? Because scripture says, our Lord teaches, the apostles teach, that you should love and serve one another, that you should do good to all men especially those in the house of faith. So when, ladies and gentlemen, we have competing injustices in Armenia and Nigeria and Gaza, oh, they're all injustices. where should our emphasis be? In the first instance, it should be to stop the genocides against Christians. Because when we stop the genocides against Christians, we will be in a place to stop genocides everywhere else. So when you're going over there, but aren't, aren't ladies there, um, and gentlemen, no, but ladies respond. and gentlemen, this brother is throwing the Christians who are being persecuted <laughs> under the bus. He's throwing Christian confessors like Nisar Hussein under the bus, Brother Ismail under the bus, Hatun Tash under the bus. Why? Because he's more interested in building an unevenly yoked alliance 
with Muslims against no. Jews right. well, you're, you're, yeah. than he is in standing up for his brothers and sisters in Christ, who Christ commands him, Our... Christ compels him that he should love and serve them. How is it love and serve to your brothers and sisters to betray them like Judas? No, okay. Let, 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 let me respond. Let me respond. Let me respond. Uh, our duty as Christians, as, as Catholics and Protestants, is to seek to convert our neighbor, our Jewish neighbors, our Hindu neighbors, and our Muslim neighbors. Now, people can judge. What would be a more effective approach to conversion, to simply condemn and say he's cursed, Muhammad is cursed, or to say we can talk, we can talk. We we're, both, we're all children of God, we believe in the same God, we know there's a difference on the Trinity. I would never deny it, I would never deny it. But I think the question is which is the more fruitful approach? And I think most reasonable people would believe a dialogue where we find common ground is much more is much more effective than all this condemnation stuff and the Bible. So I don't know. I hope you can learn from that, Bob, because one thing I admire about the man—he's very passionate, and I really believe he sincerely, you know, wants what's good for the world. You know, and look, persecution is wrong everywhere. It's wrong everywhere. I hate to think that Christians are being persecuted. And my wife is Indian. The Hindus, and I think there are some Hindu soldiers in Gaza. By the way, there are Christians in Gaza too. So if you really want to condemn, if you want to protect Christians, I would say you protect the Christians that are in the land where Jesus Christ was born and raised and was crucified by the Jews. So just, you know, saying it's just Hamas and there's no background, I think, is a fault. But, uh, um, so that's what I'm saying. We have to find common ground and we have to be fair in our condemnation and apply that where it's supposed to be. And to do it in a spirit of conversion. Shall I, Not shall I to condemn, but to say, uh, you tell me what you believe, I'll tell you what I believe, and the Holy Spirit will guide us to the truth. And that's what we all shall want. Well, we ladies, ladies and gentlemen, notice he says that to Muslims, we must have a conversation in the spirit of conversion in which we find common ground. Why doesn't he do that to the Jews? Oh, I do. Why I would. Doesn't uh, he do that I pray the for Jews? the Jews every day. That? Did you hear him say, "Let's do that with the Jewish people"? No. Well, let me. What did he do? Hang on. He just... said, "Jews, the Jews are responsible for pornography. The Jews are responsible for abortion. The Jews are responsible for degeneracy in the West." Ladies and gentlemen, are the two of us? I am possibly. The only Let me one respond to that. That actually brought a Jew inside Israel to the Christian faith. Uh, let, well done. I have done that. Well done. And, ladies and gentlemen, and do that I same do for the Muslims. stand up to Israel's persecution of Jews, sorry, Christians, inside Israel and around Israel. God bless you. Just like I condemn Israel's selling of arms Good man. to Azerbaijan, an Islamist government that has driven. 120,000 oh, yes. Christians from their homes. But oh, did man. you hear him Good man. speak up against it? Did you hear him condemn it as they went into Christian homes, crying out Allahu Akbar and desecrating Christian churches? I think the Armenian Prime Ladies Minister and had a lot to do with that. He doesn't want the Armenian to condemn Prime Minister. Islam and Sharia law is he because he hasn't followed scriptural teaching and scriptural teaching says do not be unevenly yoked with the unbeliever and this is exactly why scripture says that because when you yoke yourselves with the unbeliever you start diminishing your own faith just like he diminished his own faith by saying no? well Muslims done. and Christians believe Let in the same God. Armenia. No Muslim believes that. Armenian no Armenian Christian who knows his Bible so me, believes sorry. that. You, you and if know, the Pope sure. believes that, then the Pope needs a biblical lesson as well. Because you can't say that denying the Trinity and believing in the Trinity is the same thing. Oh, I need to respond on the Pope. I, I think, I think, uh, as, as always, whenever the Pope says anything controversial, the, the, the instinct of the Protestants, because the essential identity of Protestants is a kind of a, na it's a nationalist religion in England. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of, it, it all started with Henry VIII when he stole the land of the church. But 
uh, there's a, they want to condemn they want to condemn what the Pope says and I don't even agree with what the Pope says often uh, you know he, he times out about climate change I don't believe all that stuff but um, the the essential thing to bear in mind is if you if you're worried about the things that Bob is really worried about he will attribute the blame where it lies and I want to I want to make this so important make this point so and where does the blame clearly lie? let me see when I speak about the Jews, there are three ways we can identify them. You have an individual Jew. I debated with one here. I love him. Look at the work of E. Michael Jones and, uh, in America. He debates with Jews. He has led to the conversion of countless Jews to Catholicism. So we have the individual Jew. Then we have all the Jews in the world. And here's the essential category, which I don't think Bob recognizes. In the Gospel of John, when it says, the Jews started to persecute Jesus, it does not mean all Jews, because that would have to include his mother, the all-holy Blessed Virgin Mary, and the disciples. So when I say the Jews, it does not include all Jews, nor is it any kind of biological identity. Jews don't have bad DNA. If a Jew gets baptized, he's immediately a Christian. But, let, let, but when I speak about the Jew, here are the Jews. The Jews exist as a category of reality. It's the Jewish leaders in, in our time. And at that time, it was the Sanhedrin. In our time, it's, it's APAC. It's APAC in America, the campaign against anti-Semitism, the Board of Jewish Deputies, the political entity that claims to represent all Jews, but not all Jews except the representation, and have an active role. And the simple point is, are Jews able to represent themselves as a body? And I think the answer is yes. They're very good at that. They, they come together, they form uh, charities and other organizations, and they're able to represent their interests. Good on them, except when the interests include genocide and moral subversion. But the point is, you've got to recognize that that category, the Jews, really exists. It doesn't include all Jews, but it does include the Jewish leaders. And you cannot be a leader without what? Followers. Right. So any Can Jews that any Jews that accept that leadership and are part of that group, they're what we call the Jews. Can I reply? Go for it. And then, uh, do you want to bring this to an end? Yeah, let's bring it to an end. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. And well done, boy. Well you, done. You, you've all heard very clearly a living embodiment of what it means to be unevenly yoked. He was invited to condemn Sharia law How many times? The, several times. Okay, okay that leads directly to the persecution of the church. His church. Christians are dying of I his church. I condemn the persecution. But he will not condemn Sharia law. Why? Because he is unevenly yoked with the unbeliever in his hatred for the Jews. However, he wants to define I said I love them, but he the calls Jews, them ladies and gentlemen. This is the danger of what it means to be unevenly yoked. This is why the apostles in their wisdom Let of the Holy Let me respond Spirit, and we'll finish. No, we're finishing. Yeah, yeah. Teachers, ladies and I want to have one more word, though. Why we should not be unevenly yoked. What should be the politics of the Christian? The politics of the Christian should be to build alliances amongst Christians of all denominations, Catholic, Protestant and Orthodox against all those that persecute the Jews, sorry, persecute Christians. If those persecuting the Christians slip, are well, the Israeli slip. government, slip, I think. then we should Freudian oppose slip. the Israeli government. If they are the leaders of the mosques, then we should oppose the leaders of the mosques. And the thing is, because Islam teaches at core the persecution of Christians, the discrimination of Christians, another gospel, another God entirely. Therefore, Christians have no choice but to condemn Islam, Sharia law and Muhammad. Do I condemn the Talmud? Yes. Good man. Do I condemn well rabbis that use the Talmud? to instigate persecution against Christians. That's the yes. UK rabbi who was But ladies and well. gentlemen, Messianic Jews are Jews who are on the side of the church. 
I am consistent to my beliefs and my politics is rooted in scripture. He is consistent to his beliefs, but his politics are not rooted in scripture. So which of us is representing the church right now? Which of us is being a true disciple of Christ? Can, can I? Can I just? Uh, okay, I know. I know. We're going on and on. But what, can I say you one thing? God bless you. Well Good done. You. And let's pray for each other. And let's let's try and build bridges. You know. I love yeah, you, brother. I will pray for well you. Done. God bless. God bless Peace you. Be with you. Well done. Peace be with you. Take care. Okay. And well done, everybody. Right, do you God want to bless. Collect your microphone. I don't know which one you're doing. I'll give a different phrase right, instead of the Jews, because the Jews is quite a general. Oh, now you can talk well, to me, sir. Yes, that's the way if anybody wants to talk to me. The Jews are the most bad.